Hi, my name is Pal Pai Gong Kiet Glai, and I'm the founder of Coconut. Coconut is a food tech startup focusing on ear silk as an edible insect protein. I founded this company in 2019, right after I denied a 15 million baht deal in Chao Thang, Thailand, season one. My vision is to give the healthy life everyone deserves with sustainable food from ear silk. My aim is to innovate the food of the future and deliver the health benefit from clean source of protein. And my goal is to provide a clean food source from Airy Silk to maintain the food security and also for everyone to have an access to a healthy food product. Coconut also promotes sustainable farming through silviculture or silk raising. And at the same time, we want to improve the standard of living for the farmers. In traditional food source that we are consuming, we are consuming contaminated food, we are consuming some GMO food, and also we are consuming some synthetics. Comparing to Airy Silk, it has no antibiotics, no hormone chemical free. Because it's really sensitive to all kinds of chemical, Airy Silk has to be raised in a clean environment and it can't even get in touch with any chemical at all. Our conventional food problem is that we're lacking of clean protein and a high demand protein is in need since the health conscious consumer are growing and growing. And the farming is unsustainable. The world is in crisis in CO2 carbon emissions and part of the reason is due to this. Conventional animal farming took 40% of earth land and 70% of fresh water. Comparing to this, the solution could be easy. If we could ship some part of our protein source to be coming from insects, since this is a clean protein and this is high nutrition fact, it's run up almost 70% in protein comparing to conventional animals. And most importantly, it is a sustainable farming. In the future food market, the edible insects number is growing, mainly in North America and in Europe. The expected value is to be $710 million by 2024. Airy silk, or some originae, in scientific name, is a wild silk. It's originated in India. What's special about it is that it has 68% of protein, comparing to conventional animals like poultry that has only around 20 to 30 percentage, comparing at the same weight. And what's more important about it is that ear silk farming is sustainable. Ear silk could eat cassava or tapioca leaf, which is bio -west. And since Thailand has nearly 1.4 million acres of cassava land, we're known to be exporting in the top land of the world. While Thai cassava farmers receive low paid for selling cassava, they only receive around 2 Thai baht per kilo from during plantations of 8 months. Coconut see it as an opportunity to make the future food from airy silk and be able to help the farmers to have more income by raising the silk using cassava leaf. Our key resources and activities that we have our entomologist team to produce the silk egg and then send it to the farmers when they raise during the time around 30 to 45 days and we get the silk cocoon. We purchase them back into our factories and that's when we process it into the food ingredient or it's in protein powder forms. Our food factory has to undergo food safety standard and regulation. We receive GHP and HACCP standard. Therefore, the customer can be sure that our products are safe and undergo food safety standard. From one silk cocoon, I could have products in three different industries. One is from silk fiber, it could go into textiles. Two, from the protein, from the silk pulpa, it would go in the food industry. And three, for the cosmetic, is from silk amino acid. For ear silk protein, breaking down to its amino acid, it is known to be good for muscular building and also for nervous systems. We make our ear silk into powder form to be ready to use as food ingredient and it could be used in variety of food application. Let's say you can mix it in your noodles to replace the starch or you can make imitate meat to double up the protein instead of real meat or easily you could make into a protein bar or some sort of dressing just to add more protein in the original product that you had. Our main customer we targeting the B2B food manufacturing. However, during the COVID-19 situation, we have to shift our strategy to launch our B2C product as well into the mass. So these are some of our products that we made. Usually for this ear silk pulpa powder, we would sell it in B2B in a big lot, but we also made it into B2C, so it will be easy for home use. And we also coping with some master chef in Thailand and in, in France 
to create some menus and to show people that it could be easy to mix with our edible insects. This product called Bowl, mixing with our air soup to replacing the whey. And this is more for more building muscular, so it's targeting more of sportive people. And this other product that we wanted to go to mass the most is called Air You Lock It. This will be a snack in the moon shape with some mixtures of some protein from our products. It would be an introduction for people to get more understanding of how Air Silk tastes like, targeting more of young generations. So these are just some of the products that we'll be launching in 2022. For developing future food, it actually takes time to work with B2B. And so our future plan for next year, it will be launching all these products to prove the tractions and, and also working more with corporate to develop more product together. In terms of investment, I'm looking for investors who are interested in the future of edible insect food and value the importance of BCG business, sustainable farming, along with improving the life of the farmers and at the same time could provide us funding source and opportunities to grow our product internationally. Coconut will build the food of the future. There are 10 billion people to feed by 2050, so let's do it sustainable way. Thank you.